foxes. Welcome to my brand new studio. Uh, I'm trying out these like purple lights because they match my purple wig, but on my monitor I can't really tell. Like, obviously this isn't a makeup video, so it doesn't really matter if there's like a purple cast on my face, but I'm just trying to like see, like vibe this out. Like I think that I have to do them white because I don't have enough space. But since this isn't about makeup, I thought I would try it out. Um, I have moved my studio from the downstairs garage up here. Um, which is going to be a lot better for me. Um, it's, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it, there's just so many reasons why this is gonna be better. So I'm very excited. Um, the space isn't quite as big, but what I did is I moved my makeup out of the filming studio and it's like actually at the top of the stairs out there. So pretty exciting. So you'll see this setup mostly on my beauty channel, which if you're brand new here and you have never seen me before or you've never been to my channel, I also have a beauty channel, which is what I started first here on YouTube. Um, but I have about 15 animals, uh, a lot of which are exotics. So, and honestly, I love animals more than makeup and people. So I thought it'd be fun to start this. Um, now I did one of these a while ago um, and I think that people, I didn't even realize this till after like it was getting so many views. I think people thought that I was unboxing a mystery reptile, but this is actually a mystery reptile box and triple L reptile actually renamed this. I just went and looked on their website and when I bought this, it was like, oh, this is named different. It used to be called a, um, a mystery reptile box or something like that. They changed it to like a reptile supply box. So I think other people might have been getting confused too since they weren't reading like the description box. But basically this is a box that is, so let me show you my address. Um, this box is supposedly worth $60. The contents inside is supposed to be $60 or more. The box itself is $39.99. I just thought it was, I just think it's really fun to get like mystery stuff in the mail and open it. Especially when it's stuff for like animals that maybe I wouldn't have thought to buy or it gives me an opportunity to try something out and it makes me feel like I got it at a discount or something. I don't know, that's not actually true at all. Oh my gosh, there's like lipstick shavings like all over my desk right here and I'm just grinding them into my desk with this box. Because the last one seemed to be enjoyed so much, even though it seemed like I made it clickbait, um, if you're hoping to see me unbox a real live reptile, unless they made a mistake over at Triple L Reptile, there is not a live animal inside this box. You are on the wrong video. Um, <laughs> I bet so many people were ready to come for me in the comments of that video thinking that I was literally about to open a box with a mystery reptile and just be like, I don't know what we're gonna get folks, but I don't have an enclosure set up. Let's just do this thing. I'm very smart and these are the only scissors that I have near. So we're going to be opening this with these tiny little baby scissors. While I do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have not already, um, turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos and you get to be first. And usually when you're first, you're not last and I'm chatting in the comments. I feel like, oh, I need to open. I should have like a camera on my desk or something so you can see. Uh, okay, I'm rolling my eyes because the first thing that I see in here is something I would definitely not feed to one of my reptiles. Um, this is, okay, so let's just check this out. Oh, I see something in there that I actually really need. So, so this is baby bites for juvenile bearded dragons and it looks like moist little worms. And it's got a little top like that. This is not something, that I don't like feeding any of my reptiles prepackaged food. I'm just not a fan of it, but I mean, I can't be too upset. This is what, I mean, I asked for them to send me a mystery box and probably nobody buys these in their stores. That's what I always get worried about. Like, okay, are these boxes just like stuff that you're not selling? And obviously if you're not selling it, there's a reason why. Um, the last box I ended up with, um, I will link it up here. I ended up with a bunch of um, tegu food, uh, tegu and monitor food that was canned and my monitor wouldn't even touch it. Like it had corn in it and it was nasty. I didn't like, I was just curious and no, she did not like that. So. What are these even made out of? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Soy protein, whole egg powder. Like, what? A lizard would not be eating soy out in the wild. It's like a vegan lizard and shit. Okay, 
something in here. I feel like it's probably a hide. Ugh. Okay, so last time I got, I think, the exact same hide. Um, this hide is a reptile cave in small. I don't have any animals or reptiles that are small enough to fit in these, so I guess this will go back on my shelf. Um, these are not part of the, uh, or wait, yeah. So these are not part of the reptile box. This is what I purchased. Those glow in the dark. I thought they might be cool for my leopard geckos. Uh, next we have a mini mister. I actually have been needing to buy another spray bottle. So this works. Cause like, I swear every time I need a spray bottle to spray out one of my enclosures or my chameleon or my pixie frog, I, there, it's like nowhere to be found. Like I don't, it just goes where things go to die. I don't know. And then I randomly find it when I don't need it. Next, this looks like a food bowl. Uh, I need to move this box so that I can see my monitor. Okay, so this is one of these like kind of, I don't even know what this is made out of. Um, one of these little dishes. Now I don't, I never know if this is for food or water, but corner dish, interesting. Okay, so that fits in the corner right here. I don't think I put water in this because there's like little holes in this stuff, but maybe it's for like, I don't know. It looks like it might be for water, but it's kind of shallow. Like too big to be a water dish for like a leopard gecko, I would say, but also like too small to be like, maybe dart frogs could chill in the water. I, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I got this in the last Reptibox. Um, I guess they're not planning for people buying this uh, two times in a row. It is a Reptitemp. I'm not mad about this because I have two and it's kind of small. It's small. So it's like one of those things that you, it's like a bobby pin. Like you you may not be able to find the one that you used last time, but they are they need to be everywhere because you need them a lot. That's a bad, that was a bad analogy. It's small, it can get lost easily, just like my tweezers and the mister and all this other stuff that I always lose. So did I need that though? Would I have bought another one? No, no. <laughs> okay, we got a book on chameleons in captivity. Panthers, Veils, and Jacksons. Okay, that's kind of cool. I feel like I, I don't have this exact book, I don't think, but I'm always excited to learn more about chameleons, obviously. I have one. Um, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yay, the one thing in this that I actually am excited about. A heat mat. I can always use more heat mats, I swear. I always need more heat mats. Um, uh, my leopard geckos use these, my pixie frog uses these, my roaches use these. Um, so sweet. I wish it was a little bigger, but yeah, it's cool. And that's all I got in here, dude. Um, and then I got some stickers. I, I break for snakes. Definitely not putting that on my car, but it's cool. <laughs> and this, because you know, I definitely want to look like I work at triple L reptile and stuff. Cause that would be really cool. I feel like everything that I got I got here is not worth $60. This is about 15. This is doesn't say but this must be about an $8 book. This is like 12 bucks, I think. Hold please. I'm going to get on the computer and check all this stuff out and see how much they sell it for on their website and we'll see if it's less than 60 bucks. I just spent the last 20 minutes looking for my phone. Can't find it anywhere. My <laughs> Apple Watch is fucking dead, so I can't find it. I don't know how to find it. I've literally looked everywhere five times. It's so frustrating when you can't find your damn phone. I have a 3,300 square foot house and it could literally be anywhere. I have no idea. I would even lose it in a cardboard box, to be honest. So then I grab my iPad to do the math here for everything and then there's no calculator app on my ipad so i had to download it and then i kept entering the wrong apple id password and then it sent a verification to my phone so i couldn't even download it so then i had to google a calendar thing to use on google finally popped up we have a 20 or six, 68 dollars and 25 cents for everything so we made it I underestimated the cost of the heat pad, which was $21.99 actually, and then the temperature gun was $17.99, and everything else was like super, super cheap. So um, really the only thing that I'm super excited about in this box is the mister, which was is $2.29 on their website. And then also, the book is okay. I'm, I'm excited about the book. And then um, and then the heat, heat mat. Uh, 
heat mats are like really overpriced. Like, um, you know what I realized recently is you can actually buy the ones for um, plants on Amazon and they're way cheaper. They're also a lot bigger. If you have a really large tank, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. But um, I also bought a temperature control for these heat pads and it's so much cheaper. It's like the same technology, but because it's for your beloved pets, they overcharge you. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this about like vet, like some vet offices and stuff. Well, you know, they just take advantage of the fact that like that animal has a special spot in your heart and they're like, could cost 200, give me 800. <laughs> This wig is like legit so long that it just keeps tangling. It's like so gross. Like the only thing that this is good for is like a photo because wearing this out, you would just look like a hot mess. Anyways, oh, there's hair everywhere. I feel like Rapunzel. That is the video. That is the reptile box. I don't think I will buy another one considering I keep getting doubles of everything. And I think that spending $40 on the stuff that I actually want would be a better idea. So that is why I'm gonna go to, it's not the reptile show or expo tomorrow, but there's something going on in San Diego. I forget the name of it, um, that uh, I'm gonna be going to here to get some new stuff for my enclosures. And I still have my two leopard geckos available for adoption as well as my bearded dragon. Just um, FYI. I think I'm gonna start putting them on my website, like an adoption area on my website so you guys can see. I will not ship them. I got a bunch of emails from people um, saying, hey, I know you said you're not gonna ship, but will you? I said I'm not gonna ship, I'm not gonna ship. So um, I appreciate your interest um, and it warms my heart that you're interested, but like I said, I'm not going to ship. So thank you for your interest, but say it with me, I'm not going to ship. So, um, yeah, I did get a bunch of emails though, so nobody has come through to adopt them, so they're still available for adoption. They are the sweetest little boys um, and girl, Bearded Dragon. So if you're interested, then um, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. And if you wanna see the other reptile box that I opened, you can check out that video. I will link it for you right here, and it will also be in the description box. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave comments below about what you guys would like to see. Some upcoming videos that I was thinking of was redoing my chameleon's enclosure because um, I got some really cool stuff at the dollar store that you might've seen. And then also um, uh, what I'm gonna, I'm thinking about feeding all my pets in a video. And then what was the other one? Oh, my dubia roach colony, how I keep them and how I keep my crickets. So let me know if you guys have any fun ideas and what you guys would like to see and I will film them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.